Hey there, fishing girl. We are doing something completely different today. I'm not only not going to be on the beach, I'm in a different state. So we're up in New York State to visit our kids. In the meantime, they're busy, so I'm heading to Lake Ontario to a little inlet there that goes to a bay, and I'm hoping to catch on some fish. I've got some lures, I've got some bloodworm fish bites and crab fish bites. We're gonna see if any of that works. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, push a like on this video, and let's get to fishing. We are at, uh, I believe they call it Arondaquat, Arondaquat, something like that, National Park. This is a Arondaquat Bay, comes out on the other side is Lake Ontario. There you go, the small boat harbor. But I've got this, uh, <laughs> this is my <laughs> travel fishing pole that I brought with me. This extends to almost eight feet. Give him a little tug. I've got this hooked up weedless with a quarter ounce jig head. And that is the Fred Lure from Salt Strong. And I really, <laughs> honestly don't know what I'm doing with freshwater fishing. So if I catch something, I'll consider it to be a blessing. I'm gonna try a couple spots. I'm gonna try some different jigs. This has a nice uh, cast for being a travel rod. Oh, I am. <laughs> I just hit the, hit the bridge. There's the, the actual inlet out here. So I'm gonna walk out here and see what I can get into, but we've got some nice colors, a little bit. We, we're past the peak season for fall, but I'm gonna turn this off. I'll turn it back on when I get back out there. You got beach over here. You got this uh, inlet right here. And I'm going out to that little uh, spot right out there. I don't think I can climb over <laughs> and down the rocks. I'm not gonna try that, but we'll see what I can do when I get out there. This is really beautiful. I'm gonna step down a few rocks. Hopefully I can keep my balance <laughs> and not fall as I head down here. Okay, because I really don't wanna fall. <laughs> Break my neck. Look at this, it's beautiful water. This is as far as I'm gonna go. But uh, yeah, I'll just keep this on. I do wanna try the uh, a couple different things. I don't know how much, how close these fish are here. Just kinda doing a twitch, titch, twitch, twitch, pause. So I got high visibility. <laughs> I've got high visibility line for the beach because it, that's what I need to see my line at the beach and at, at the pier. I don't know how well that's gonna work here in this water. So I don't know how visible the line is to the fish here. Oh, there's a fish right on this rock. I wanna get this fish interested in this lure. You see that? He's on the rock right down there. Let me see if I can, this lure might be too big for him. That is, up on the higher part of the rock.
got that tied with a loop knot. I see him. He's going across the other rock. He might be a more of like a, a sucker fish. I did not buy bait. I, I couldn't find a bait shop real close here and we don't have time. Float rig with some bloodworm. I heard bloodworm works good fresh water. So we're just gonna try it. Hopefully it'll work. This is the rig I was using when I tested out this rod at uh, Bing's Landing the other day. And I was catching little, uh, oh, some little fish. We'll see if anything hits on it here. Something big just jumped like a couple of minutes ago while I was switching out my lures. I see little bait fish down here swimming. I'm gonna keep my eyes open right around here to see if I see anything. But the water is so clear. I'm not used to seeing water this clear. It's crazy. 11.07, I've got probably until like 11.25 and then I gotta walk back to the car. I think I'm gonna go back to where the water wasn't quite as deep with this float rig and try it from there. All right, these are a lot higher than I remember them being. They're like stairs though. All right, so I'm gonna be going kind of that little sandy shore area there, casting out into the middle of that channel. I'll turn it back on when I'm over there. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there. There was a huge fish cruising the shoreline, and so I threw my line out to try to see if I could get him interested, but man, that was, that was a big fish. But he jetted, he jetted. So I'm gonna try one more cast way out that direction that he went. But yeah, I think I also spooked him. Might have been better if I had a lure. Whoa, <laughs> almost lost my balance there. Gosh, that was such a big fish. There's another fish, I see its wake. Oh man, it saw it, do you see it? It's right down. I thought it was down near this little grassy area, but it may have jetted even further. I'm just amazed at these bigger fish. Coming right up by these rocks. Now, I'm gonna go with my original plan. I'm gonna head over here, but I just can't believe I keep seeing these big fish over there. Walking in, this nice little pathway. You can see the trees. All the colors in the background from that little hill. All of us Floridians, we don't get to see all these colors. And even though it's past the peak season, it's still pretty. All right, I'm here with the noisy thingamajig. Just float, just float rig and see what happens. Just gonna let it float. All right, we are on day two, not day two of my trip, but day two of fishing. And as you can see behind me, we are here at the Erie Canal. There's some, uh, there's a boat here. So we got some structure, let me turn you around. But just, yeah, basic Erie Canal. We got a bridge, we got a boat. 
Uh, I'm going to be looking for some structure like that. I've got a float rig. I've got some spoons. I've got some other lures. I don't have a lot of time, and I couldn't find a bait shop to get, like, worms or whatever that they use here. <laughs> Probably worms. Uh, but we're going to try it and see what happens. It's cast. I'm just going to kind of cast it, I guess, close to this boat. And uh, let it float. I've got the bloodworm fish bites on this float rig. So this isn't a particularly cold day here, but this Florida girl is not used to 50, 58 degrees is a high, it's chilly. I'm over here by this bridge. The weight is just pulling it down. I think I may switch to a lure here soon. Something was nibbling because that went way down and then got released. See, it's going down. It like went way down real quick. Okay, so here's my next plan. I have a double drop rig from Frisky Fins. I had asked, um, sinker guy what beads I should use if I had glass beads with me and he said green for up here so I didn't have any green beads from sinker guy but I did have this pompano rig from frisky fins that's green so I'm just gonna just trying things out because I really <laughs> don't know what I'm doing up here in fresh water so I'm gonna put have crab fish bites and you know I'm gonna try a couple of these. If these don't work out I'm gonna try some lures. Probably have just like an hour left to try a few things so there's not a lot of time for each one of these but I'm gonna finish rigging this up and get it in the water. The advantage I'm hoping to have with this kind of rig is that, number one, it's gonna straighten out all the looseness in my line. Number two, this water is really deep. Just had a nibble. Okay, something is nibbling on this for sure. It's pretty deep, it's probably eight, eight to 10 feet of water. Whoa, as soon as it gets down to the bottom, they start nibbling. There's no takers though, come on. Okay, so I think I'm snagged on something, but at the same time, there's a bunch of bubbles coming up all the time, so I don't know if... Okay, I got everything back. I'm almost thinking maybe a turtle was messing with it. I don't know. I got it back though, I'm putting it back down. That's crazy. Well, that New York trip was interesting to say the least. As you can tell, I don't have a ton of experience with freshwater fishing as of recently. I used to do it a ton back in college, but it's been a long time since then. So uh, if you have any tips for me, if I want to go try freshwater fishing, say in one of the retention ponds or somewhere here in Florida, and you have a good tip for me, leave it in the comments. But thanks for watching. Push that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, tight lines. God bless, and we'll see you.